In Melodyne, you can stretch or shrink notes. But did you know how this can benefit from a clever note selection? Well, let's find out. On vocals, Melodyne uses the melodic algorithm. If you select a series of notes, changing the start of any of them will stretch or shrink them all. But look at the preceding note. It shrinks when you stretch the selection, or vice versa. In other words, it compensates for what you do to the selected notes. The note on the other side does nothing, it just acts as a kind of boundary for your actions. These roles flip when grabbing the end of the note. Now the left one forms the boundary and the right one does the compensation. If you grab the middle of a note, everything moves, but no stretching takes place in the selected notes. At least that's true for most notes, but some compensation must be found for this too. And that's here and here. To completely avoid stretching, use the separation type tool and double click on the line between notes. This will then become two separate lines or brackets. Now you can move the passage without any stretching, even creating gaps or overlaps. The stretching rules for the other Melodyne algorithms are slightly different, and I will cover this in different videos then as well. For today, let's stick to vocals and talk about the special treatment of breath in sibilance. When stretching a bunch of notes at the same time, any S involved will just move along, but it will not stretch. At least that's the case if there's a pitched part beside the S and both are inside the same blob. Only when you make sure that the entire blob was sibilant, like here, when I separate the S from the pitched part, then the S would shrink or stretch as well. I hope today's video was helpful. If you enjoyed, then come back here frequently, turn on notifications or subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.